What's a real life glitch you've experienced that you still can't explain? I bit a banana once and the apple biting sound file played instead. It seems like soon after I learn a new word or idea, it pops up somewhere in everyday life, but I don't remember ever noticing it before. So a long time ago I was fed up with life and stepped off a curb in front of a dump truck, turned, looked at the grill of the truck, closed my eyes, opened them to the truck passing me by and me back up on the curb. Still don't understand it and I don't know if I want to. When I was about 6 or 7, my cat died. It was the first time I experienced death and it really shook me up. Then, about a month later, I saw my cat walk into my room clear as day. I wasn't freaked out and I didn't question it. I reached down to pet him and suddenly he was gone. This happened a few more times until we got two new cats. Each time it happened. The fact he was dead never crossed my mind. A classic summer thunderstorm was fast approaching. It was super windy out but not yet raining. I've always been fascinated by weather. So I went outside and sat in a lawn chair. I was sitting in the middle of my yard. A good 10 feet from anything when I was pelted in the face with a crouton. It was gusty. But not at the moment I was struck. I took it inside to show my family and no one cared. I never came up with a reasonable explanation. Dreamt I was on a train which crashed. The guy in front of me was decapitated. The train car caught on fire before plunging off a bridge into water. I drown. Woke up in a panic. Realized I wasn't dead and fell back asleep. Had the exact same dream. And again. And again. Next day. Dragging my tired butt into work wondering why my mind decided to play a dream like a bad VCR. I passed the volunteer desk at work with its daily pile of newspapers. The evening before a train had crashed before plunging off a bridge into a river. Later it came out the crash produced some horrific injuries including decapitation. Edit to add, I was a very, very broke young adult and did not own a TV until a few years after this dream. This is a repost, then again. It fits. Colon. I'm not the kind of person to have a great many friends. But those friends I do keep are sacred to me. So one evening I was getting out of a Rotterdam subway. Dark. To go to my apartment near there. When I see an old friend. One I haven't seen in the flesh in a few years heading into the subway. I call out his name. He turns. Waves and makes this call me gesture. Then the doors close and the subway rides off. 30 seconds later. My phone rings. It was my friend. Who told me he'd just seen me get in the. Normal. Train he'd used to get home from the bar, apparently, I had grinned, waved, gestured call me, the door shut and the train drove off, I lived in Rotterdam, he lived in Enschede, that's just over 200 kilometers apart, or about 125 miles. I put my untangled earphones in my pocket and when I took them out again, they were untangled. As a kid. Shot a rubber band off my fingers at a soccer goal. Rubber band. Unbroken. Was looped around one of the strings of the soccer goal. Absolutely no clue how that happened. Girlfriend and I were talking on her front lawn. Mid-sentence. I felt something. Evil. To my left. I stopped talking and turned. She did too. Saw some sort of shadowy humanoid around 30 feet away. Light was enough that it was obviously not a person. She asked do you see that? She didn't know why I stopped talking. I nodded. Without another word we both ran inside. No idea what it was. I would call it a trick of the light. But it was out of my vision when I originally got that feeling. It was unexplained for a little bit. But it was freaky and as far as I know. An actual glitch. I was driving home from. I think. The bookstore and suddenly realized the street signs were missing letters. Like a stop sign would read STP. Then other things I saw began missing parts. But without any space for the missing stuff to be in. Like if reality was a piece of paper that was being folded to hide things. I managed to drive home like this. Barely keeping myself from freaking out. Got home and things got back to normal. Then the worst headache of my entire life hit me. Yep. My first migraine ever. Of luckily only two so far. With years apart. I'd heard people talk about migraine symptoms, like colors and blinking lights and smudges that impair your vision a little. 
Stuff like that. Nobody had ever mentioned a symptom could be reality ducking warping around you. In high school I did archery. And one day at shooting practice one of the new kids shot a bull see exactly. Dead center. This isn't that remarkable. You fire enough arrows. Sooner or later one of them will be a bull see. But everyone was being nice and congratulating him. Suddenly. A voice in my head. Which sounded like me. But didn't feel like me said yeah. But Lin's about to do the same thing. And I could see in my mind's eye. Lin firing an arrow. It flying through the air and hitting a dead center bullsey. Then. Maybe 3 or 4 seconds later. I watch as Lin fires an arrow and it flies in exactly the trajectory I had seen in my head. And lands with a thwack. Bullsey. Everyone is over congratulating Lin now. She was new too. And I'm standing off to the side wondering what the duck just happened. It happened one more time a month or two later too. I saw something happen in my head exactly as it did a few seconds later. I've forgotten the details of the second time though. And it's never happened since. My mom told me this. In my parents bedroom was this really large master closet. It was technically just one closet. But it had two door going into it. Between the two doors was a high shelf and a hanging rod for clothes. So it functioned like two separate walk-in closets but you could walk from one to the other by ducking under any clothes hung in the middle. One night she was in her side of the closet and she saw through the gap between the shelf and the clothes rod my dad walk into his side of the closet. She heard the metal coat hangers sliding as he looked for something to wear and saw the clothes in the middle sway as they were brushed from the other side. From her side of the closet she started talking to him about something random. Then she heard the bathroom door open. She poked her head out of the closet to see my dad clearly just emerging from the shower. Walked to look into his side of the closet and... Nothing. And up until the moment she poked her head out to look at the bathroom door. She will swear to you she could still see my dad in that closet. I forgot about this until I read this post. But it's something I still don't understand. It was summer. And my grandfather. Grandmother. Mom and I were working in the garden. It's pretty big and there is a lot of grass to be mowed and stuff like that. After all the work my mom would always ask me to get some soda. Because everyone was thirsty from working. It was in the evening. But still pretty warm. After everyone had their soda. My mom asked me to put it back in the fridge which was in the basement. Used as a living area. Only a small part is storage. So I go to the basement. And please note. The room with the fridge is like 20-30 seconds from the exit. And you have to pass two doors with those flappy anti-fly curtains. I put the soda in the fridge. Close the fridge and walk out. Seems normal right? Dut. Except I had to do this three times. The soda kept reappearing whenever I put it in the fridge and turned my back on it. Everyone was outside. And there was only one bottle of soda in the room. To this day. I am still confused over what happened. There have probably been more moments like this. But this is the one I remember the most. Edit. TL. DR. My soda kept reappearing after I kept putting it in the fridge three times. Woke up one day and started randomly having panic attacks after 30 plus years of heal tea. Normal living. My brother got shot in the stomach and the bullet bounced off and fell on the ground. Apparently it had traveled a long distance and lost a lot of velocity. It left a welt. But that was it. This happened to me about a month ago. For those who don't want to read the full story. Basically, my co-worker and I, on separate occasions found notes that had been written then erased on our desks. That had phrases that we had previously texted. Neither of us wrote the notes. We have no explanation. I once woke up sitting on top of football goalposts no clue how I got there. It was about 6am and there was a girl running around the track that surrounded the football field. Always wondered what she thought I was doing up there. Must have been weird creepy for her but she clearly was confident enough to continue her run. Well I've posted this before but I'll post it again. Basically, it felt like I stepped back in time. I was walking on the sidewalk along a busy road when suddenly with a step, the whole damn world changed around me. It was a crazy hot day but suddenly it was cool and cloudy. There were only a few cars on the road and lots of people riding bicycles. I remember seeing a girl in a blue dress out of the corner of my eye. It was so surreal. But with the next step I was back in the usual reality and to this day I have no idea what happened. 
My friend and I were once outside when he was changing his girlfriend's car battery. It was at night and there was a lot of fog out. Suddenly, there was a flash of white lights in his neighborhood for like half a second. It couldn't have come from a porch light or something. Everything was engulfed by the light. We looked around and didn't see anything that could have caused it. There were no cars. None of his neighbors had turned on any lights. Nothing. To this day, we still believe a Terminator was sent back in time to his neighborhood. One morning I woke up, rolled out of bed, brushed, had breakfast as usual, and then went about my day off. I lounged around the house a little bit, played my DS for a bit, plinked away on my guitar. A lazy morning. Suddenly I'm driving in my car a couple towns over on my way to the van. I pulled over and tried to collect my thoughts. I remembered waking up and getting ready, watering plants, cleaning my stuff up in the living room, then hopping in my car. But I also remember doing all of the stuff from that other version of that morning. So I had two separate days that suddenly merged into one and kept both memories. Our mattress did not have those little rope handles on. It absolutely did not. As of last week, while I was stripping the sheets and putting on fresh ones, it does. I'm too afraid to check again. One time during a run I had an out of body experience. I was just running along. And then I blinked and I was seeing everything as if I was standing over my own shoulder. I could see the back of my head. And all around me but my head wasn't moving. It was just super weird. I drove nearly 14 miles on autopilot. Like cross eyed zoned the duck out in thought and didn't once veer off the road. Also a friend of mine managed to phase through a locked door and had to knock on it till his dad woke up and let him in, it was a sliding door with a trigger latch no way to lock it and go outside. Once when running a route neighborhood I'd run a hundred times I went across a street and suddenly lost all sense of direction. I slowly stopped and tried to orient myself with street signs and landmarks. But nothing made sense. I know. I know. It sounds like dementia. But I was only in my 30s and had never experienced it before or since. It was as if the matrix reloaded and I was pointed in a different direction than before the reload. But my body still remembered the direction I was going. I once both three rotisserie chickens on clearance. Two dollars each. I picked at one of them on the drive home. Get home. Lock my car. For once. I rarely lock it. I have two chickens with me. And a pizza. And I was too lazy to grab the third chicken. It was like 10 outside. I wasn't worried about spoilage. Figured I'd grab it in the morning. I know for sure I left that chicken on the floor of my car in front of the passenger seat. Yet the next morning. It was gone. Vanished. No sign of it anywhere. Where did my chicken go? Years ago I was driving home late from work and as I was waiting at an intersection my whole car jerked violently to the right. It actually lifted off the ground and sent my drink flying. I looked up and saw the light was green so I restarted the car, manual transmission. It stalled, and started to go through and pull over to check for damage. At that moment a drunk woman in an SUV ran the red light and smashed into a power transformer. If whatever happened to me hadn't I would have been t-boned on my driver door. I called 911, and stayed to give my statement. But I think the woman died as the ambulance did not have sirens on when it left. When I was about 13-14, I went on a trip to another state with my church youth group. We drove through the country four hours in a region I had never been to before. Eventually we ended up in a small town. I was looking out the window and realized I knew this town as if I had lived there before. Like, I knew the post office would be a few blocks ahead on the right. And then, sure enough, there it was. Weirder. I knew what the buildings would look like. I predicted the location of all the landmarks in the town before we were close enough to see them. All of the predictions were correct. It was very spooky and got the other kids on the bus a little riled up. A friend of mine, that I hadn't spoken to in a while, and I booked the exact same resort at the exact same time on the other side of the world, Florida, without even knowing the other one was planning to go on a trip. I traveled back to my hometown to visit relatives. On second day back, I went to bed, blinked, and suddenly it was daylight. Apparently I had slept an entire 36 hours. But my relatives remembered me doing various activities, washing dishes, 
eating dinner, shopping, etc. Though nobody actually saw me around. I had a dream where I was watching my brother play video games and saw him parachute out of a jet in BF4 then smack into a wall and die on impact. The next night my brother was playing BF4 jumped out of the jet pulled his parachute hit the wall and died. Except before he pulled his parachute I instinctively blurted out that the wall was going to kill him seconds before he came close to the ground. He still brings up that weird circumstance. When I was young I was lying on my bed in the dark when I heard my cat meowing at the door. This was not unusual. As she often wanted in to sleep with me. I opened the door and saw the shadow of my cat enter the room. Then she just stood by the door. Still meowing. This was not usual. I reached out to scoop her up and just hit wall. My cat was outside the whole time. I don't believe in ghosts and I definitely wasn't asleep. So I don't know what the hell happened. That was the only time I experienced anything like that. I was around 7 years old running through the backyard at a friend's house. Around my neck was a cloth cord and hanging from it was a bronze stamped medallion that I had gotten at a recent renaissance fair. As I was running, I tripped like the klutz I was in fell forward. The necklace and medallion flying off my neck and landing a few feet in front of me. I started to get up and looked at the necklace but then froze. It was sinking into the ground. The metal part was swallowed first and the rest of the cord with it. I was so shocked I couldn't move. I was able to snap out of it and lunge forward grasping at the last piece of the cloth before it was pulled under. I sat staring and poking at the ground for a good 10 minutes after that. It was completely solid. I never saw it again and have no idea what happened. I had left my cell phone. This was 2006 so it was an LG flip phone on the charger when I went to work. After an 8 hour shift I got home and grabbed it. There was a voicemail from an unknown number. I listened to it and it was a man saying he had just received a call from my number and wanted to make sure it wasn't someone he knew that needed something. I checked the call log and sure enough at 2pm. About 3 hours before I was home. My phone called a number. I called him back and asked if someone said anything. At this point I was convinced someone broke in. He said he could hear someone talking in the background but it wasn't something he could understand. That's why he called back. I never figured out if it was a polite intruder using my phone without stealing anything or something more spiritual. I'm not a believer in ghosts but quite a few unexplainable things happened in that house. I was in college and home for break or some holiday. My dad was out at the grocery store picking up several last minute items while my mom is wrapping up her beauty routine. I'm ready to go sitting at our kitchen table scrolling through my phone. To set the scene, my position at our kitchen table looks out the back door down the steps to our driveway with garages in the basement. I hear a rumbling below me in the garage and think I must have missed my dad pulling in. I finish up my phone browsing and hear grocery bags crinkling behind me down the basement stairs so I get up and start heading down to help him unload and as I turn the corner there is no movement, no sound, and no grocery bags sitting by the door waiting to be carried upstairs. So I go open the garage door and his side is empty. I just close the door and headed back to my seat at the table. As I sit back down my dad's truck whips in the driveway and starts backing towards the garage. I wait, hear the grocery bags, and head downstairs. Hey dad, need some help. Music was on shuffle for around 5000 plus songs and the same songs I listened to on a drive to a place played in reverse order on the way back. My mom came home from work once and saw me walk out of my room. She called out to me and I didn't answer. I didn't answer because I was at my friend's house. Two come to mind. The first is on occasion I'll have dreams of events that later happen exactly as they did in the dream. Normally it's nothing major. Just a conversation that goes exactly how it did in the dream or something similar. The other was much worse. Which is I ate a pot brownie that contained bath salts. I was unaware of this fact. While I wouldn't call it a glitch. Reality did break for me for about 12 hours and I was convinced I was in hell for a while. I was meeting someone at the train station from Craigslist to buy my old phone for $200. He let me know when he was going to arrive and what he would be wearing. I got there. Saw a guy that matched the description and showed him the phone. He took a look. Gave me $200 and went on his way. As I started walking back home, 
I got a phone call from the original buyer telling me he just got to the train station and was looking for me. I had no idea what to say. Who the duck did I sell my phone to? This is a small one. But I bought a new TV. The next day, one of the lunch ladies at my high school, who knew me by name, asked, How are you enjoying your new TV? I replied that it was pretty nice and went on like normal. Only an hour later did I realize that she mentioned the TV I just bought the day before. I felt some Truman Show-esque vibes. I asked her how she knew the next day and she didn't seem to know what I meant. Pretty sure my grandma told her about it and she just mentioned it for some small talk. But it screwed me up for the full day. When I was about 11 years old I was playing with my younger sister and two friends at the bottom of their garden. It was a semi-rural area and there was a cow field that stretched away for about a mile and then there was a motorway. There was no visual change in our surroundings yet suddenly the cows stopped making any sound at all and we couldn't hear the traffic on the motorway which was usually constant. We all froze as we sensed something. The air felt heavy as if it was pushing down on us and we all felt a prickly heat on any exposed skin. It lasted a good 10 seconds and then stopped as fast as it had started. The cows went crazy and the traffic sounds returned. We all agreed we felt it. I wonder what strange weather systems were at play that day. A friend of mine and I used to joke about how our backpacks had black holes which was why we could all our stuff in it. A good while into this. We found each other's stuff in our backpacks. This happened multiple times. 2. After it kept happening we reasoned out that it was most likely that we were dropping our stuff into the other's backpack without noticing. But the chances of that were lower than the frequency at which it was happening. What really screamed at me that something was wrong was when three of his pens in his pen collection ended up not in my backpack. But in the pocket of my jacket weeks after he lost them. I like to think that whenever we come to agree upon something. It'll happen. Which is why I'm glad we both also joke about and discuss becoming gods and our plans when we do. Unfortunately, these occurrences have ceased lately. So I guess the magic has worn. I had an abusive childhood. One time, in middle school, I had a friend over. A very rare occurrence for me. My friend and I were about to enter the house and go up to my room. Now the door we were going through connected to the laundry room. Which is the washer dryer like right in front of the door. So if you are doing laundry, sometimes the door will hit you. I had a premonition. Nothing else to call it. I put my hand on the door handle and in a premonition of the exact words and way my stepmother would scream at me the moment I opened the door. I turned to my friend and said when I open this door, my mom will be there. And she will be very upset. He looked super confused but sure enough. I opened the door and she yelled and screamed at me exactly the way I saw. And then we both ran up to my room. I don't believe in the supernatural, religion, the occult, ghosts, or anything like that at all. But anytime I start to get 100% atheistic neck but in my own head, I remember that and it makes me think. It's not bulletproof because she had yelled at me for that several times. But I'll never forgot the absolute certainty I had at that moment of what exactly was about to happen. I've never been more certain of anything in my life since. Weirded my friend out.